Oh, he's gorge. Says he's in the Navy. Probably works on a perfume counter. <laughs> what are you two up to? Sean's checking out the talent in Blackpool. You are never organising a date when we're supposed to be scattering Dennis. I'll go and find this driver. We'll never get to Blackpool at this rate. Hard to believe, isn't it, that it was life before mobile phones? No, oh, tell me about it. Amy can't believe that you used to have to make an arrangement to meet somebody and then turn up on time. Yeah, there was no texting. I'm running late. Well, if you ran late in my day, you got left behind. Things aren't all sunshine and lollipops for us these days. No, clearly not. Your generation seems to think we've got it so easy, but you've actually got no idea the pressure that we're under. My mate from school, she was self harmed It was all because of stuff that she'd read online. Yeah, it's true. I mean, the things I've read about internet bullying, it's awful. Oh, I wouldn't be a teenager again for a gold clock. Oh, please. My generation lived through a world war. When were you born? 1946. Well, the war finished in 1945. Yes, but there were still repercussions. God, I mean, young girls today with their Snapchatting and the food intolerances and the sliding down the shower walls, sobbing. Uh, which teen movies are you watching? You try making out you've got food intolerances when there's rationing on. Just see how far you get. Yeah, but it's not like... Uh, yeah, and another thing, if I'd talked to my father the way the kids talked to theirs, he'd have knocked me through the front window. And I'd have had to pay for the glass. Mm. And those were better times. I did not say that they were better. I said they were harder. And we were harder, too. And we had to be. I hadn't realised you'd known Dennis for so long. Oh, yeah, since the year dot. I was working the clubs and... Dennis thought he was Weatherfield's answer to Brian Epstein. Isn't that right, Kim? <laughs> Dennis certainly never lacked ambition or confidence. <laughs> I was working in the Orinoco. Oh. I had an exotic dance act with my friend, Sissy. She played trombone. Oh! <laughs> Talk about novelty act. <laughs> Very popular. Till she broke her arm, and of course that was the end of that. I often wonder... Was that why I married Dennis all those years later? Because we had that in common? Your past? No, our youth. <laughs> My, we were stunning in them days. Hey, so were you, Ken. I don't, I don't know about that. Hold the other one. You had women dropping at your feet. And you had all the men dropping at your feet. What? My outfit, for one. I think you've had a drop too much, lady. Oh, don't play the innocent. He was always a giddy kipper for you. Where has all this come from? Ladies, ladies. Yes. We were having a lovely stroll down memory lane, and then she takes a great big flaming D to, to Alfie, of all people. He had a massive crush on you always. Come on. We're not going to fall out. Not today, of all days. Besides, there's not many of the old guard left, is there? No. Fair enough. But come on, admit it. If he'd been ten years younger, five stone lighter, you'd have been like a dog with a frisbee. How dare you? Five years younger, ten stone lighter, who knows? <laughs> For all his faults. Well, actually, he wasn't really my type, but Alfie was the love of my life. I thought you said Lewis was the love of your life. Yeah, well, time can give you a different perspective, can't it? And um, I thought a lady was allowed to change her mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, it was Deirdre. Still miss her. Every day. I'm still waiting for that one. Sorry, Dennis. So, here's to the loves of our lives. To the, to the loves, loves of, of our, our lives. lives.